everybody. Um, today I'd like to share with you my next design team project for Artie Mays. Uh, you guys are probably already familiar with this kit. Um, it's the first opportunity I've had to work with it. This is her uh, Fox Glove. I think it's Fox Glove Bliss or Fox Glove and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm still printing out some of the papers in the background so that's what you're hearing. And I do apologize for that, but I wanted to just jump on here and um, let's get started with this by going through. These are the pages. Look at those bumblebees. Aren't they gorgeous? Colors are totally me. So this is going to be a really, really fun kit to work with. Um, <clears throat> Artie Maze always includes a really nice lined uh, background page. So as these print off, I'll pull them over and show you uh, so you can get uh, an idea of what's in it. Um, she always gives such um, generous size kits. I love working with them uh, because you have so many elements. So this is some of the tags and one of the postcards. She does beautiful um, collaged postcards. I mean she really does take the work out of crafting for us because she does so many um, things within the design so that it already feels like it's been collaged but those are just beautiful of course you know I'm, I'm partial to anything that's got the bees on it so oh look at these journal cards absolutely gorgeous really really beautiful Andrea and if you like purple nice to see more purples Oh, I love that one. I love that tag. And I like the small little elements to work with for, for the fussy cutting. Somebody was asking me the other day, what is fuss cut, fussy cutting? Um, and if you're new to crafting, that's when you have to do a lot of little cutting around details. Um, so, but um, look at this. I love these. She does these jumble um, tags with the little pocket holder so those can be floating within the journal and if, if you've seen uh, any of my journals in the past you've seen those and I love these butterflies beautiful look at the little postage uh, stamps aren't those gorgeous now these are beautiful tags because what a great base to start building with so these this is why I like um, Artie Mae's kits because she includes a lot of things that you can, you know, mix with your other uh, kits that you've already got in your in your stash. So this is going to be a great base to build on. So, um, and then of course she's got her beautiful tabs, the um, little banners, tickets. She always includes beautiful tickets. Oh, I love that postcard. Beautiful. And here's a few more of the background papers. Now, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of a chocolate with a little bit of pink coming through. And I happen to love brown and pink together. I think it's a beautiful combination. And then this really pretty shade of pink. All right, so let's get started. You're wanting to know, what, what are we doing today, Gina? Um, I'm going to use some of these papers. What we're going to make, and I haven't made one in, in advance. So we're just going to do it here on, on together. Um, I've decided to make a little envelope booklet so that we can stick inside of our journals. Now these envelopes, and you can do this, you can just tweak this to any size envelope you got. But this is what I had on hand, so that's what we're going to use. Um, these are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And I've already attached that one and glued it. But I'll show you if you're new to crafting. Maybe you've never seen this done. It's pretty common. Just take two envelopes, take the tab, and stick one inside the other. And you'll want <coughs> put a little bit of, let's just go ahead and do it. I'll put a little bit of glue stick on there. And I'll show you why you want to do that because it's going to create, it's going to end up creating a nice little pocket for you. Now I've seen a lot of people do these in different ways. This is just how I choose to do them. So then on this back side of the envelope, I'm just going to put a bit more glue stick so that that adheres down. 
And don't worry about that showing because we're going to come back and cover it with um, some of the beautiful papers from the kit here. So that is the start and that's going to be your cover for your little booklet. So the next thing we're going to do is just take the very, very edge. This is, this is your envelope. You're going to snip, just cut off, I mean, just a little, little bit because what you're trying to do is just create a pocket now that you can add some uh, tags to journal cards, anything. And that's what you're going to end up with. Well, obviously, that doesn't really work. So what I tend to do, and everybody does this different. Some people use this as the pocket. I just don't like it because when I've stitched that in, um, it makes it a little bit tricky. I just personally don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'll cover this up. So let's just go ahead and do that really quickly. It's a super quick way to make an extra little bit of writing space, especially if you are um, a person who enjoys making journals that maybe don't have as much writing space as, um, as you'd like. This is a nice way to get some more writing space in the journal. So I am going to use this sheet on the inside because the inside I'm going to probably come back and put a bit of um, pockets and things. So, so the first thing I need to do is get rid of the white edge. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut that with the paper cutter. I should have did this in advance, but like I said, I just um, thought oh, I'll turn the camera on while I'm doing this. I'm hoping that it's going to all go okay. I'm sorry about yesterday's video, guys. I have switched over to using my, well, I'm trying to switch over using my phone just because I think um, the camera lens in it is a little bit better than my camera. So I'm hoping that it's going to be easier for you to follow. Um, you know, I'm hoping that the detail is going to show up a bit more. So I know that that envelope was five and a quarter. I've cut it down, so I think five is going to be pretty safe. If I have to trim it off, I will. And we know that we want the height to be somewhere around seven, so that's going to take bit of that off and I'm going to save those because I can always use those later to um, collage with. I never never waste any of um, Andrea's papers because they are so beautiful. All right, I'm going to have to take a bit off the bottom here so and the reason I did that is I wanted to save that B. Save these! Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, because you want to keep this open, you're going to want to just put a little bead of glue along here. That way it's not going to interfere with getting things in and out of that pocket. So do be aware of that. It's about time I change my um, my glue. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and put so I'll put a bead on that. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to the glue stick, just because I want to make sure that this all sticks down really, really good.
So while I was back, I cannot believe how well I restrained myself on the shopping, guys. Um, I bought very, very little. Um, because at the end of the day, when I got back there, well, number one, um, you know I was bringing an extra bag back with my supplies that I already had in my lockup. Um, so that really didn't leave me for a lot of room. So it, I, what I ended up getting was actually pretty boring, um, which is why I haven't done a video on, on it because um, <clears throat> it was mostly like the little eyelets. I wanted to make sure I bought plenty of those because it's hard to get the bronze ones here in the UK, um, the size that I like working with. So I've got some of those. I picked up a few, you know, a few things from uh, Hobby Lobby, and I did get a couple of them. Um, uh, da da da. What am I trying to say? A couple of these um, framelits. Oh God, I'm I'm just having a complete blank. And I will show you. I'm going to do a tutorial of making some little cute things with those. So I picked up those, but yeah, it was a, a yeah, I was very, very proud of myself. Um, so see, by doing that, I've only actually put the glue on the very edge there. That way it doesn't interfere with those still being pockets. Okay? So now let's do the same with the front. Um, and we will crack on with this project. All right, here, printed out some more. Oh, love that background. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that page. Oh, wow. Amazing. Oh, I love this kit. Uh, you know, but every time Artie Mays puts out one, I fall in love. So, <laughs> um, okay. Let me go ahead and do the papers for the front and back. So, I'm going to use this one because I want my little buddy here to show up. <clears throat> So yeah, I was, uh, oh, it's just kind of funny because I was in that uh, unit, my, my unit, I don't know, I think I got, I think I ended up, I had to take out like a 10 by 10 unit or something, which isn't that much. That shows you how much I've dwindled down um, to be able to fit a whole, your whole life into a 10 by 10 lockup. I'm, I think that's pretty doggone good. Um, So yeah, when I got there, um, I arrived on a Friday night, and oh boy, that journey was a nightmare, I'm going to tell you. Um, the flight was good. I can't, I've got no complaints with um, American Airlines this time. I, I've flown with them in the past, and it was awful, but I think they must be really working on their customer service because I can't complain. It was a good flight. Um, so I got... All right, so what it was, I had a nine-hour flight to Miami, and um, got to Miami. Well, it's a three-hour drive from home to the airport. So I was up at 4.30 in the morning, out the door at 5.30, three hours to the airport, Nine-hour flight to Miami, got to Miami, four-hour layover at Miami, two-hour flight to Tallahassee, <laughs> got to Tallahassee, and um, my daughter picked me up, and or, well, she met me at the airport, because I, I got myself a rental car, because between Tallahassee and my dad's is about two-hour drive, so I needed my own transportation, so... Oh, I was worn out. Man, I was exhausted. But, you know, your your body is just like still thinking it's UK. So I got there, had a bath because you feel absolutely disgusting when you travel. I don't know why, but you feel so dirty when you've traveled. Um, so I took a bath, got some sleep, and, uh, you know, of course my body's like, ding it's time to get up, which was a stupid o'clock, because I didn't get to bed until almost 2. And uh, I was back up, I think, about 6 o'clock, ready to go. So I went down, got, you know, got myself some coffee, and um, 
sorry I'm just doing the same as we did on the inside that's all we're doing so um, so I can tell you my story um, so I was like okay I want to get to my storage unit because when you get older you forget what you actually own <laughs> so I got there and uh, oh my god guys a year and a half right it couldn't have prepared me when I opened up that unit guys I was just shocked absolutely shocked uh, mm. Yeah, it was disappointing to see what had managed to get into my unit, so I was pretty depressed about it. But anyways, I plundered through. I thought, well, i got to tackle this, so I got in and uh, started digging stuff out because I had my little list of what I knew I needed to bring and what I was looking for. So I went through that, and then uh, by then I needed another cup of coffee, so I just left and popped over to uh, McDonald's, but got myself a um, sausage biscuit, have to have my sausage biscuit, and then I uh, headed up to my dad's. So I was amazed at how much stuff I've got over there. Oh my God, guys, honestly, I could fill another craft room over there with stuff, you know, I've picked up at thrift stores and, um, oh, look at that one. Ooh, look at that page. That's beautiful. Um, okay, so here we are. I know you want me to just get on with this project. So let's go ahead and age this a bit. Um, so yeah, I ended up going back to that unit, I don't know, about six times, because I'm kind of weird that way. Once I see something needs cleaning and doing, I was, it was driving me nuts. I was like, oh, okay, I've got to get back and clean this unit out and try to protect my stuff a little bit better, because I've got most of it in those big plastic containers, so they're pr that stuff's pretty safe, but, you know, there was a few items at the end at the end of packing and getting ready to move, I was just like, oh, just throw that junk in the unit. So a lot of it did end up, well, not a lot, but a few things ended up in boxes and that was a mistake. So I just did the best I could with it, but it was, it was really sad to go back and see everything there. And honestly, I gotta say, I brought one bag back and I really need to bring back probably two more bags of crafting stuff and now grant that's 50 pounds so i probably got another 100 pounds worth of stuff i really ought to bring and that's not even you know because like i've left my sewing machine so that stuff you just can't i can't bring it all right let's do all right so what i did i went ahead and pre cut the papers because like i said this is just a little extra one so we're just i'm gonna run that down the machine guys um Rather than sewing it in by hand, I'm just going to run a stitch down the machine. Um, eh, I'll do that last. There's no point in stopping at this. So let's add a couple of pockets with some of the ephemera that she's given us. Oh, I do love these. Love, love, love them. So I think it might be nice to make um, a little tuck spot and then maybe a couple pockets over on that one. I'm going to use these for a couple of small pockets, I think, on that side. Actually, I think she did include... Hang on, let me... Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Uh, I'm having some issues with my printer. Uh, what I intended to do is Artie Maze has some pockets within this kit. I didn't print them out on the first go, and like I said, I've been fiddling with that printer all morning, so 
it's going to require getting tech support involved. So we're just going to have improvise. So what I've decided to do is just make some uh, pockets using the elements that we've already got. So I'm going to put, this is one of the tags. Let's just get that down. And then these are those three little um, cards. I've cut those out, but I think what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put the Tim Holtz photo die thing. I'm going to, I think that's what that's called. I keep calling it that. I don't even know. I should take the time to look at what it's actually called. Let me ink that up quickly. do around the edges of these. All right, let me just find something, a little stamp in my stash that I can stamp something on there. should have had all this ready. This is what I was talking about with my, I use these to store my clear stamps. If you followed me, you know that, <laughs> but some of the new subscribers might, might uh, find that that's a helpful storage solution for these. <clears throat> Um, I've got to get my my brain back on about uh, which one of these. I, ah, here we go. This is what I want. Okay, guys, let me get this glued on. I'll put a couple of brads in there and then we can get this put down. Yeah, I've been uh, debating on a new printer, and depending on what happens today, I was hoping I'd make it a few more months because I think I've decided when I when I get a new one, I'm going to go with the <coughs> Epson EcoTank. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I just didn't really want to 
<clears throat> go to the expense at the moment haven't just come off of this trip but it depends if I don't get satisfactory results on my uh, printer today with HP is who I'm with at the moment I may have no choice but go ahead and do it because I cannot be without a printer it's funny because it had been working fine. Um, you know, I'd had some hiccups with it, and then I thought I had it all resolved just before I left, but now I don't know if the time away, because it, it didn't get much use, if that's affected it or not, but it sure isn't wanting to work with me today. Alrighty, guys, let's get this thing done. Turn it into too much of a... lengthy project here and I do hope this has come out <laughs> I think I'm recording it the right way this time so, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around that that way we can still see that image coming through I love those papers they are so pretty All right, so I'll let that dry, but I'm going to put those tucked in, but I think we need a couple of little tags. <clears throat> so I've got a couple of tags there. Can add to that when that's dry. Here, <clears throat> this is one of the big tags I've just fussy cut the little butterfly and then this is one of the Tim Holtz um, wildflower die cuts so I'm going to just ink that I'm loving this green and I'll just get that put down and then I'll have to see if I can find us a little bit of lace or something to go behind. I might just use some cheesecloth behind the butterfly. Okay. So that's going to go to the machine and I'll show you why. I'm going to put a bit of cheesecloth behind that. So I think it is time for me to pop to the machine. What I'm going to do on the machine is I'm going to put some cheesecloth behind this, run a stitch down there so that's still dimensional, and then um, I am also going to attach our papers by running a stitch down here. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I have gone to the machine. I just ran a straight stitch down there. So now you can see it's starting to come together. And um, <clears throat> here's how the tags come out. I've got the stitching around it. You can see I've just run a stitch down the center so that that still stands out. So I'm just going to tuck that there and then let's just decorate this very quickly. So this is one of the elements from the kit. I've cut that out. I've just glued a little bit of cheesecloth to that and I want to put a couple more brads just because I like the metal. <clears throat> I'll use copper this time. I really, really wished I had bought some of these metal brads because I'm starting to get low on those, but hey-ho, we'll make do. Um, so let me just get those in and then we can get that down. <clears throat> so, you know, it's really simple and how you embellish it, you know, is up to you how elaborate you want to make it because you could just you could do so much with these but I like them because we've always got um, little envelopes and it doesn't have to be a new envelope you could easily take junk mail 
and do the same thing but it's just a nice uh, way to make a little booklet and I think these would be great for Happy Meal because you could fill them with um, ephemera and just pop it in the post and you know you sh the shipping shouldn't be too bad because it's it's not that going to be that thick. So back to the front here, and I stamped a couple of little tags <clears throat> just to pop in, and then I'm going to put these three little tags from the kit. these tags real quick and we'll put those in so it's lots of little little bits that you can journal on or the recipient could use within the journal so that I just think it's a fun quick and easy project uh, you could make this much much quicker than it's taken me because um, when you're filming it just takes longer than if you're not, you know, you just get on with it. And so I think this would probably, could be done in probably 30 minutes. Maybe quicker, depending on how fast you craft. There you go, guys. It is that simple. You could add some, some of the tabs from the kit to that if you wanted to. And then inside here, I just took two of the journal cards and kept them together and uh, scored it. So that's another little place to, for somebody to journal. And that can be tucked in. And then you've got this pocket as well to fill up with ephemera. You could put another pocket on the back with some more tags in there and then this <clears throat> you could embellish even more. But I, since it's going to go inside a pocket, I'm going to keep it plain. But obviously if this was going to be going out in Happy Mail, I would add more dimension to that with some more of the butterflies coming off and probably some more of the Tim Holtz um, wildflower die cuts just for the tech extra texture so there you go guys that is a really quick and easy envelope um, notebook edition for your journal i hope you guys have enjoyed that i'm going to put the link below to this kit um, which is in artie may's shop on etsy so if you're interested in that take a look and i will be back soon um, with some more things to share with you guys. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.